Yo, hello everyone! In 2023, streamline your international payments on Shopify by integrating AirWallex. This comprehensive tutorial will demonstrate how to connect to AirWallex, making cross border transactions more efficient for your online store. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. First thing, obviously, is head up to your Shopify store and log in into it by going to Shopify.com, right as you can see in this uh, bar, and then click on log in right through here. This is now the store section where you are going to choose your store. So let's choose this one as my store, and there we go. So here are the store, and now all we need to do is to find AirWallex. Well, for the payments, you wouldn't find it in the App Store normally like that. Sometimes you will find it as a widget. Let's try to find it out, for example, a wallet. You can't find it as a widget, but yeah, the payment methods are actually in the payment section. So to find them, all you need to do is go ahead into the payment or the settings right through here. And here, go to the payment like that and choose a payment method. You can either click on see all the providers to find a Rolex, which is this one. It is very easy guys, to find it. Or go here, add a payment method. And search by AirWallex. Let's wait until it loads. Um, not here, but here. And there you have it. Then click on activate. And here you will. You are now connected to AirWallex cards and local payment method. Click connect to install the app and set up your account. So click on connect. And then wait a little bit. Let's close this. Install app. Give it some time and it will be installed and then of course you should just go and go to your account so here if i went to my payments i will not find it normally so i will still have to go through some settings so let's go to air wallets and so we'll show you real quick how to do so so here i have to con manage my account and through manage account you will be able to connect your account on air wallets so just give it some time a little bit you will have here the, the login section so just log into your account very easy guys if you don't have an account just create a free one very easily from here and give it some time again it will load the page for you and here you just have to fill these information so I'll just fill them with some fake id there you go and here i'm going to use my email get started uh, the same thing goes for this one and here I'm going to switch to USA United State oh my god I can't find it State of America then here the mobile phone I'm going to choose a US mobile phone so let's get it from here um, it's very easy guys of course guys you have to put your own information I'm just doing these fake informations for now just for the sake of this video uh, you have to put your own information because you know it's obviously I can't show my personal information for you guys that's why I'm just doing it that way so here you will send you an SMS which you will be receiving a code of four digit and or six digit that will be ending with 0573 and then you just you have to do next is simply add this code here and click on confirm and your account will be created it is very easy guys to create an account on air Wallet. now after you're done with that your payments getaway will be accepted in here so this is all you have to do to and now guys for the second process which is in case that doesn't work for you what should you do like there's many problems that you might face during the the adding of air Wallet as your payment getaway you can't really just find a solution as easy as that well there is a lot of problems that may cause you uh, during the adding of air Wallet as your payment getaway the first one which is once you try to actually add it in another country other than the us for example let's go to another store or this one as well this one itself it can help me so here for the billing addresses you will find that it is in, in the us but for the other informations they're not really us here it is US dollars but here it has been changed to Casablanca 
What means that they have detected my IP and they managed to know that I am not from the US even though I'm using VPN at the moment, which will can cause us a lot of problems. Like for example, we can get it to be accepted, but later on, as the people got into our store, they are buying stuff from us, buying products, we will face dozens of problems. The IP has been changed, Shopify detected it, deleted and works. Now, where the money do you think is going to go? Of course, the, the money, all the money is going to go to the Shopify pockets. You will not get any penny since you have detected, since you have been using VPN and VPN is illegal. So guys, make sure that when you are trying to use uh, Shopify for something outside of your country to use VPS. VPS, mix it with a proxy will give you the best experience of Shopify in any country you have in mind. It's just VPN is very risky. Sometimes you will forget to even change the IP. Sometimes you will forget to turn your VPN on. Sometimes you just turn on your PC and it will be directly open in the Google Chrome browser and you will be entering the Shopify store without even turning on your VPN. And that will cause you to lose your business not your business exactly but to lose your, the payment gateway that you have chosen which will cause you a lot of loss you'll be losing a dozen of money since you are going to sell them the products without even receiving the money so this is a loss for you guys which have to put which you have to put in your mind so make sure guys once you try to create uh, this uh, in like Shopify store in another country make sure that you accept your faith by using VPN, there's so many things that can VPN do with it. Shopify can backstab you, and with that, you will be losing all of your money. Of course, this case is only for the non US citizens, or not only non US citizens, but if you want to air Rolex, accepted countries. So, what countries does my business have to register for? And here they are so they accept Australia, Hong Kong. Malaysia, Netherlands, Singapore, United Kingdom, and United States of America. Other than that, you will not be eligible. So put that in mind, once you go to your store, it has to be in one of these countries. So VPN has to be one of these countries. Or you have to be a real citizen of these countries. So your IP or where you are located at the moment must be in one of these countries. Then you will not face any problem. You will not have any, like, uh, process in mind on how to fix that on how to do that you'll just follow what i have been talking about in the first four minutes of this video and yeah just like that guys we have arrived to an end of our video thanks a lot guys for watching if you do have more questions make sure to leave it down below in the comment section i will make sure to look through all of your questions and leave an answer for those if i couldn't i'll make a whole new video about them so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial